everybody, welcome back to another video on this channel. If you don't know, know who I am, I'm the Gaming Gecko, here to entertain. Um, I do Jurassic World, um, Jurassic World the Game videos, Jurassic World Live videos, and Pirates of the Caribbean Tides of War videos. Today is the day that we have been waiting for. The day I play Jurassic World Live for the first time on this channel. So if you enjoy, leave a like. And click that subscribe button and give that bell some love. I'll see you guys in the rest of the video. We're back um, from the little pause just now. And um, sadly, I've already played this game today. So um, excuse me if I don't have incubators ready or whatever. Um, but anyway, we are here in Jurassic World Live. If you don't know this game, you should install it. It's a really cool game. It's um if you know Pokemon Go, which I bet all of you know, it's kind of like Pokemon Go just with Jurassic World stuff. So if you're a Jurassic fan like me, I mean install it. Ludia did a really good um job on this, but let's first um I'll show you the basics of the game. So first of all, you have I've already started this too, just like Jurassic World the game. And sorry if it's laggy. Um right now I don't have really good you know, equipment and stuff. So here you have incubators. And normally, every uh, two hours or something, you get a free incubator. It depends on which level you are. I'm at level 5, and so I get a free level 5 incubator. Then you have dinosaurs. Uh, my team is almost all rares. I have the Caprosuchus, the Velociraptor, the Argentinosaurus, the Hybrid, up in the... Um, Middle, next to the Argentinosaurus, the long neck, is the Enosuchus. It's a hybrid. Then we have a Hatscopteryx. I don't know, actually, what that is. Er Erlikosaurus Gen 2 underneath. The flyer. Next to him, we have the Draco Rex, the one with the spiky head. And above him, we have the Protoceratosaurus. Proto Protoceratosaurus. And I have um, 34 out of 100... 34 so I'm missing 100 dinosaurs so the, this is kind of the dinosaurs I have um, then you have the map where you can get dinosaurs we have the battles the battles where you get a battle incubators uh, which I will actually also activate yeah that's what I mean it's laggy I'm sorry but we activate this so it unlocks in three hours and then we have here the alliance. And the alliance is I have an alliance. It's called, as you can see up here, Gecko and Pals. So if you want to join my alliance and be in the Gecko and Pals team, you can join. Also, if you want to be my friend later on. I will show you my IP, and then you can search for me on this game. Though I will uh, discard Caprosuchus and request a menu. I have already three members, so be quick in getting uh, into the Alliance, because there's not going to be a lot of room soon. Anyway, we have the social alien stuff. It's time to so show you my profile. Here's my profile. Um, the name is the Gaming Gecko, T Big, G Big, and the other G Big too, all together. And um, the IP is hashtag 3274. So if you want to join um, the Alliance and want to be my friend, go quick, install the game, and just request an invite to the Alliance. Because then you will be. In the Gecko Squad. In the Gecko and Pals. So, here we have daily tasks and also achievements. Um, I don't think I can do a lot of them. Oh, it's so laggy. Doesn't matter. Oh, but because... Oh, I wanted to do battles. So let's battle with our team, because I want to show you battles. Battle systems are really cool in this game. Uh, better than Jurassic World the game. I like these battle systems more. 
quite frankly. Because, um, you know, you have armored dinosaurs, like um, Huplocephalus and Kylosaurus. They're armored. In Jurassic World Alive, they have an armor effect that if um, attacks do less damage. Jurassic World, the game, that is not the case. Every dinosaur has the same system, which is kind of boring. And that's why Jurassic World Alive is such a cool game. First, it gets you outside, and second, it has these super cool battle systems. So first, we have to choose a, syst uh, a creature. A system, a creature. Um, and I'm going for Proceratosaurus. He's going for Mirajaya. And what I want to do is distract him, because then he does less damage to me, which is always good. But he has, and that's why I wanted to do distraction, because he has an armor piercing counter, which is really strong. He also has the shielding strike. So I'm not really in a very good position, but I will slow him down. Oh, he's going, no! He has an effect called regeneration where he cleanses and regenerates. So now he doesn't have distraction anymore and he's probably gonna kill us. Yeah. So now uh, you need three dinosaurs to win the battle, but now I don't have so many anymore. I'm gonna go for a Velociraptor because Velociraptor's pounce is super strong. Just like, how much damage? It does two times damage. And it's really strong, and it distracts. So, I've won this against this guy already. Mirinjaya, you're out. But though my... Pro oh, I can't say the name. Proceratosaurus is out, too. So, I mean, it's a fair thing. Now let's do Strike, which is the regular attack. He does nullifying impact, which is pretty strong, yeah, and I thought so, uh, we're out. But let's go for Caprosuchus, send him in, a really cool amphibious dinosaur. Um, and yeah, let's do Ferocious Impact. He goes for Armor Piercing Strike, but we go for Ferocious Impact, our attack increases, and he's out. So now we have killed two dinosaurs, we need... One more, and then we've won the battle. Oh, it's Delta, a rare. Okay, I see, I see, I see. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna swap. And the cool thing is, this guy has a swap effect. Oh, Lamborghini. He has swap in invincibility, so now he has a shield. And this guy does not do any damage. See, it's super good. So let's just, oh, um, do short defense. He goes for strike. This might have not been the best idea. Actually, let's slow him down. Because if he can't, oh, dang. But at least we had the shield, so that's really good. We cleanse the distraction. Um, his speed decreased, and now we should be able to defeat him. Yes. So please, have our fingers crossed. Let's win this. Let's win this. Yes, we've won. There we go. He swaps, and then Captain Suit just comes in. Now he can do his cool little winning animation. Yay! We win! Infernio, you have been defeated by the Gaming Gecko. Woo. That was cool. I mean, come on, guys. That was pretty cool. Okay, we have about one and a half minutes left. Until I need a, a finish. But we have an incubator to collect. The Defeat 10 Creatures Incubator. And you get really good, cool prizes here. So, yeah, we need the darts. Mirinjaya, we can level up now. That is cool. Lamborghini DNA, nice. So let's go here. And I can show you how to upgrade um, dinosaurs. 
So here we have Mirangia. It's a pretty cool dinosaur, actually. I just don't have it in my team. Because um, right now I have so many rares in my team. And rares are better than commons. I mean, it says it in the name, you know. Common, rare. There's a difference. But we're going to evolve this to level 10. Because I think it's going to have a pretty good hybrid. So we will need it by level 10. It doesn't have a hybrid yet. So... Got extra health um, and extra damage, and these are its attacks, shielding strike and regeneration, as we saw in the battle. But yeah, I think I'll have to leave it there. Um, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Um, oh wait, actually no, I can do these. Ooh la la, some daily missions. I'll just gather these and then I'll say bye. Ooh, but I need to hurry, need to hurry, need to hurry, need to hurry. Yeah, I think, okay. This might not work. Nope. Yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, smash that subscribe button, and give that bell some love. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.